In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the calendar to create events. You simply log in to your back office, which will bring you to this page here, which is your dashboard. And over here on your left, you're going to go down to where you see events. When you click on this link, you will see these subcategories pop out here. Uh, the two that we're primarily concerned with the all events are the all events and the add new tabs. To see all events that have been placed into the back office, you simply click on that and it will bring you to this page where you will see the dummy events that I have created here. In order to create a new event, there are two ways of doing it. You can click on this button here, add new, or you can go over here under events and click on the add new button. It will take you, both buttons will take you to the same place. So let's add a new event and that will take us to the add new event page and you put in here into the title of the event let's say it's Reiki class class 2 that will be the title you can make it an all-day event or you can have a specified time that you want to have it to make it a specified time and date you click on the calendar here and you would choose the date that you are planning to have the event. Let's say that we're going to do this on April the 20th. Here you click in to find to add the time that you want and let's say the time is 10 a.m. We'll start at 10, well, let's say 9 a.m. and then the end date, which if, if it's going to be the same date, just leave it there, it's already in there and the end time, let's say we're going to make it at 6 p.m. The time zone is already here. You can add, you can click this button here if you want it to be a repeat, uh, a re reoccurring item if it's happening once a week or once a month, yearly, however often, and you would choose that from here since we're not going to do that. Um, we're going to leave it like this. The next area is the event's location and the event, the, the venue name, let's say Kamau's <coughs> House. And the address of the event, I'm going to put in my address. And ordinarily, you can have the map here. I don't have the the API for that now. If that's something that you'd want to add on or have as a feature in your in your events, you can let me know, and I would get the IP uh, the API for that. And you would if you if you're going to do that, you would click on here, show the map. As you can see, something is wrong because I don't have the API, and it would also put in the coordinates if that were the case of the location. Uh, the next area is the events cost and tickets and tickets. If there is no cost, you simply click click the no tickets um, button. The timely tickets, that's a, another way of getting tickets if you have a subscription with them. The external tickets, that is if the tickets are to be purchased from some other place. If it's a free event, you click here and this button this box that you saw disappeared. If there is a cost, you simply type in the cost here, 125, let's say. And then we move to the next area, the organizer's contact information. I'm the contact person and my phone number. As well as my email address. And if I wanted to put in my URL, if you want to put in your URL, you can put it in there. The next part of this is you can add additional information down here or instructions. For example, I would say make sure you bring uh, a tasty dish for all to enjoy. 
Okay, and then we can add a picture or image to this if we would like by going here to add media. You don't have to do all of these things. I'm just showing you what is possible. I'm going to add, uh, let's see, I'll add this, I'll add this image here to the post, or to, to the event. And it will pop in here next to the text. And I can move that image around uh, or reposition it over to the right or to the center or over to the left here by using this little dialog block box here. If I don't want that image, I can simply click here and remove that image and add another image. I think I'm going to keep it right here. And with that, you're, base, you're finished. All of the rest of this down here is not necessary. When you're finished, you go over here to your right. If you want to publish the event so that it appears on your site, you click the button here, Publish. If you still are not sure about it or you want to come back in and work on it at another time, you can just, you can just save it as a draft here and it will save it as a draft. You can preview it by clicking this button right here. So we're going to go ahead and go ahead and publish it right here. And when it's finished, it will tell us that it is published. We'll know that it's published. And we can view the event as it appears on the calendar by going here and clicking on view uh, view event or going here to click uh, view event. I will click it here and we'll see. that this event this has been added. Reiki class number two was done by Kamau on May four, uh, March 14th. The date of the event, the location of the event, the cost of the event, and the contact information is all there along with these additional instructions. And that's pretty much it. Now in order to see what it looks like on uh, the actual calendar, let's go over to a different uh, browser and we can see by going to the calendar uh, the calendar tab and I have oh and there it is it's listed here Reiki class 2 Kamal's house April 20th if a person wants to see more additional information they click the plus sign over here and they'll see the rest of this material here. And if they want to see that page that we were looking at before, they will click read more and it will take them to that particular page. That's pretty much it of how the calendar works. If you have any problems or questions, please feel free to contact me.